हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू गेस द आउटपुट सीरीज इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग बाय अमुल्स एकेडमी सो हियर आई विल गिव यू अ प्रोग्राम यूनिट टू गेस द आउटपुट ऑफ दैट प्रोग्राम एंड लेटर विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट प्रोग्राम आउटपुट सो नाउ हियर इज द प्रोग्राम यूनिट टू पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू गेस द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम ऑल राइट आई होप नाउ यू हैव योर आंसर so now we'll compare your answer with the output so we'll execute this program so this is the output so this is the output for first for loop second for loop third for loop and we can see the error for the fourth for loop if you got the same answer then you know the program logic if not i will explain you the program now so first in our program we have four for loops so first we'll talk about the first for loop so so this for loop will be executed first here i is a variable and here we can see a list okay it contains four elements and next here we can see this this is the slicing operator so here we are performing the slicing operation on the list while performing slicing operation will take start value end value and step value here we didn't mention the start value and end value we mentioned step here step is minus 1 so there is nothing but it will reverse the given list so this expression is used to reverse a string or a list so here what will happen is first this expression will be evaluated so it will reverse the given list if i copy this here if i execute this here we can see it will reverse the list and it will give a new list right it will return a new list and then the iteration will be performed on that returned result so we'll get 4 3 10 20 from this expression so i value first become 4 and it will print that i value become 3 next it will print that i value become 10 it will print that i value become 20 it will print that after that here we can see the print function it will print a empty line that is nothing but new line so here in the output we can see 4 3 10 20 after that here a new line okay next it will execute next for loop and here we can see the expression as sorted 20 10 3 4 4 sorted is a function which will sort given list or string and the sorted function will return a new list okay it won't modify the original list it will return a new list so we'll get a new list from this function and the iteration will be performed on that returned list so here we can see 3 4 10 20 20 so i value first become 3 next 4 next 10 next 20 that's why here we got 3 4 10 20 next here new line because we use this print function here so it will print a new line next again this for loop will be executed here expression is this sorted and here i took reverse as true i already made a video on this sorted function how it works and its parameter and all so you can check that if i take reverse as true it will sort the given list in the descending order so we'll get output in the descending order here we can see 20 10 4 3 in the descending order so i value first become 20 next 10 next 4 and next 3 it will print that so 20 10 4 3 we got output like this fine next here we can see the print function that is for the new line next here we can see this for loop in the output for this for loop we got the error the error is none type object is not iterable so here we took iterable as this iterable is an object which one can iterate over or in simple word we can say group of elements through which we can perform the iterations and we already made a video on this if you want to check that i will give you the link of this in the description box here we used this sort method so this is a list method and this method is used to sort the given list but the problem is this sort method won't return any value it modifies the original list that's why it won't return any list so we won't get anything here that's why we can't perform the iteration 
I'll show you. So when we perform this, okay, it won't return anything. Here we can see. If I print what it will return, okay, if I put it in a print function, then it will return none. So here we'll get none. None is not an iterable. So we can't perform the iteration. That's why we got the error. None type object is not iterable. So this is about this program. To answer this type of question, you should have the knowledge about the return value of functions and method. You should know which function or method returns value and which functions or method modifies the original list and won't return any value. So if you know that, you can answer this question very easily. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.